Have you ever wanted to download your LinkedIn connections into a spreadsheet? Well, you can, and I'll show you how in this video. If you want to download your LinkedIn connections to manage them, to sort them out, to do whatever you need to do, it's easy. All you need to do is go on, on, on LinkedIn. So log into LinkedIn, go to me and go to settings and privacy. And then here we've got how LinkedIn uses your data under data privacy area. And you'll see here all these different options. So the, the second option, get a copy of your data. Now you can get the whole package, which is everything. It's your profile, it's your history, it's your messages, it's all your contacts. But if you're just looking for your con connections list, click here, select connections, and then hit request your, your archive. Now, once you've hit this button, will say request the first time you, you run it. So hit request, and then you will get a email like this. Hi, Joe, your LinkedIn data is uh, available. It takes about 10 minutes. You click on the link, which takes you back to LinkedIn, which takes you back to your, um, your account screen. And the request button turns into download archive. You click on that, and then you determine where you're going to save it. Now, once you've um, saved it, let's open it here. You get a zip file, so basic LinkedIn data export. So if I double click on that, it will expand it. And you can see there, connection CSV. So it's a single file. Now, if you, if you do the whole thing, you get a truckload of CSV files. And then I can go through and I can look at all my connections in a CSV file format, which, you know, I've got opening in Excel. You can see here, first name, last name, email address is blank, company, position, and the connection date. So if you've managed to download your CSV file, you'll notice the email field is missing. Now, this is because pri privacy laws, GDPR and all that sort of stuff. And it means then you can't inadvertently spam them by adding them to your email list that they haven't opted into. So how do you get them onto your list? Well, ask people, invite people, give them a reason, give them some sort of exchange for their email address, a, a lead magnet, we might call it. Um, I have a LinkedIn profile blueprint that people get in exchange for being on my email list. Now, they may leave. But that's okay. They've got the thing they wanted. So let's go back to the spreadsheet. What can you do with this information then? Well, you could sort your contacts. You could go through your list of contacts, add columns, identify them, tag them so that you can in groups interact with them. Now, one thing you can do that's quite effective is go back to LinkedIn and once you've identified the people for a particular thing, so for instance, you're running a workshop and you want to invite people, well, go through that list, find those people and actually send them a voice message through the mobile app. That's the quickest way to do it. And interact with them personally. You could send a video. There's many other things you can do, but keep it personal, keep it interactive, keep it conversational. So I've been Joe Saunders. If you've got any LinkedIn questions, feel free to ask me because I might create a video. And if you need some help, that's what I do.